Good evening, everybody. Live and direct from House Onik Backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on an absolutely beautiful Tuesday evening out across the Mid-South area. A few clouds out there. Beautiful evening tonight to check out our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams. If you'd like to check out more about the forecast, just look right, excuse me, look right here. Sorry about that. In the blue bar, red bar has all the social media information that you need to know and keeping you up to date on what's going on with the weather forecast here. Yeah, this is our video weather blog. For those of you who have never tuned in before, this is your opportunity to keep up to date on what's going on with Mid-South weather. Quick, easy to understand, understand forecast and looking again at some fairly quiet weather tonight. Tomorrow, maybe not quite so much. And the farther east you go, the worse it gets. We'll be looking at possibility of some more problems heading our way as we get into tomorrow. And again, areas around say Nashville, Knoxville, down toward Huntsville, uh, portions of Montgomery, Alabama. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Questions, concerns, emails, uh, go to wreg.com slash weather. Follow along with these social media web pages, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on out there. What we've got coming our way is a large storm system, a lot of energy in the atmosphere making its way in from the Midwest. That's that big swirl of energy that you see making its way into around the areas around Texas, Louisiana, over toward parts of Kansas, Nebraska, down into around the Great Plains states. That area of red that you see there, that's again the major energy, that storm turning and starting to kind of make its way apart, looking again at some very quiet conditions for now where we are in that green circle that you see it's hard to point up here in that direction this is where we see again the potential of problems into tomorrow these storm systems when they move their way across the rockies do a very good job of being kind of forced upwards into the atmosphere it's kind of like hitting your head on a shelf you can't go any farther upwards excuse me just one second marlo get out of there sorry i got my dog trying to sample some muddy water that should not be taking place at this point Next chance we get for the storm system to come on through, we see again the possibility of this system mainly passing over the Mid-South as it heads east of us. That's where we start to run into problems. Now, so far tonight, again, the good news at this time, the gray colors indicating the more drier conditions. This is what's called a water vapor satellite. This gives you a pretty good idea as to what's going on with moisture. The higher the moisture content, the brighter the colors. And you can see, again, the green and blue up around parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Alaska into that area, Missouri, Arkansas. That's the next storm system kicking up some showers and thunderstorms. Down toward the Gulf Coast states, just cloud cover, maybe a little bit of rainfall, and not really seeing too much of anything else, although a few thunderstorms are going to be possible out that direction. Visible satellite before it gets too dark out there is showing again mainly partly cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South area as the sun begins to set. Some very nice sun dogs going on out there, so go take a look and see if you can find anything there. Not seeing anything in the way of rainfall. Radar from the National Weather Service is showing complete and total clean sweep. Everything you see out there, radar beams slicing through particular levels of the atmosphere as the air begins to cool off by just a little bit. We start to see a little bit more in the way of pollutants settling down toward the ground. There's dust, there's pollen, there's birds, there's all kinds of stuff in there like that. Clear air mode can pick up just about anything out there uh, in that area. So that's what we're going to be seeing again into the rest of the evening. It's pretty quiet, but after midnight, that's where things may change a little bit. We'll talk about that coming up in in just a little bit. This storm system is again making its way into parts of the Midwest and is going to be doing a very good job once it gets out into the Rockies of uh, maybe showing again the possibility of some uh, stronger activity coming on through. So far it appears again that we do not have too much to worry about if anything for later on tonight but this thing could be stirring up a lot more problems especially as moisture starts to come in off the Gulf of Mexico. That's where we're going to start to see a lot of problems. But once again, for the Mid-South, National Weather Service in Memphis not showing anything in the way of problems for the area as we have little, if anything, going on again right now. It's overnight that we're going to be looking at this stuff coming on through. Severe weather chances, again, best possibility is going to be out to our west from the College of DuPage Meteorology School. We see, again, the orange shaded category with a area of enhanced threat of severe weather in the Arklatex area, back to northeastern Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas, southwest Missouri, and southeastern Kansas. Back to our east, a slight risk in the yellow shaded category across much of the deep south. But that is for the next few hours into tonight. This forecast update will up will come around from the Storm Prediction Center in about the next couple of hours or so. We'll bring those to you as soon as we possibly can. What we're looking for into tomorrow 
tomorrow is going to be, again, the possibility of some major threats of severe weather coming on through. This is a level that we have not seen in quite some time. We see, again, the possibility of the heaviest amount of precipitation involving severe weather coming on through as we get into around the area of tomorrow afternoon. It looks like most of the threat for the Mid-South is going to be east of the area, so that's definitely good news. But once again, we see, again, this potential very close to the area. The light green shaded category indicates, again, just the generic threat of thunderstorms. So east of the Mississippi, that's where we'll see the possibility of thunderstorms into tomorrow. As we go into a little bit farther around middle Tennessee, northern and good portion of western Alabama, then we start getting into that enhanced, a little higher category for the possibility of severe weather. And in that red MDT, that stands for moderate, that is a big bullseye red flag warning to watch out for the possibility of severe weather. So anything around Atlanta, down toward Pensacola, Montgomery, Alabama, all the way over to South Carolina, that's going to be what looks to be, could be a possibly major outbreak for severe weather into tomorrow. We are not going to see that much. Again, the forecast, as you can see in the blue bar, calling for just the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms. Doesn't look like much again right now, but we do still have that problem of outdoor activities. Something to think about if you are going to be doing anything outdoors into tomorrow. So definitely want to keep it tuned to both WRAG.com slash weather and for the rest of the Mid-South. Let's go ahead and time things out and show you a little bit more about what we're going to be looking for into the rest of the forecast. Again, things are relatively quiet for now. Thursday, uh, Tuesday evening looking pretty good. Tonight at midnight, that's when the rainfall chances start to make its way a little bit closer to us in the green area. The red hatched area indicates the possibility of thunderstorms as that area of low pressure begins to get a little bit closer. By tomorrow morning, most of the threat will be passing us down to our south, the big red area over Alabama, Florida Gulf Coast, and into areas of Georgia. That's going to be the main target zone for anything involving severe weather. So that's something that we are going to have to watch uh, very carefully. Some of that could stray a little closer to us. If it does, we'll let you know about that. And then the storm system by lunchtime mainly begins to clear the area, taking with it the chance of rainfall across much of the Mid-South but there still will be some lingering showers out there as we go into the evening hours. Now, by Thursday morning, outside of a sprinkle or two, there's really not that much left over. And by Thursday night, that whole system has cleared the area. So there's really just not that much left over out there. But this system, as it digs a little farther down to the south, will pick up a lot of that moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's where we see the potential problems out there where it comes to anything involving showers or thunderstorms. So we will keep you advised on that. So definitely want to stay tuned for more in that location. Location. Now, beyond that, days four through eight, looking our way into around the next several days. Day six, as we go through around Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's where we'll see the possibility of some severe weather back to the west. If you look at that area coming around this animation loop, I can't stop it, so you have to watch right there. That's where we see a possibility of severe weather coming up as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. Now, through the rest of the forecast, again, into the rest of the evening, we don't have much to worry about. We've got uh, we've had high temperatures today, close to 80 degrees. Low temperatures tonight going to be going back into around the lower to mid uh, 50s, lower to mid 60s, mid to upper 50s, actually. Now, chances of rainfall, great us back into eastern Arkansas and moving our way as we get into early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. Wednesday, high temperatures expected to be a little bit cooler thanks to all that clouds and rainfall out there. And then the chances of rainfall overspreading the entire area. Best possibility of thunderstorms again, mainly east of us, but we still have that possibility of uh, seeing some of that activity in the form of showers and thunderstorms here. Low temperatures Wednesday night, a little bit on the cooler side thanks to the fact that the colder air is going to be wrapping around the back backside of that storm system. We'll be looking at temperatures back in the 40s and lower 50s for lows Wednesday night. Thursday's highs will be correspondingly a little cooler back in the lower to mid 60s. And as we head toward Thursday night, very much on the chilly side, heading for some temperatures back into the 30s once again. So enjoy those while you can. I know it sounds kind of hard to believe, but that might be the last time we see these numbers over the course of the next several days and weeks. High temperatures on Friday, very pleasant back into the lower to mid 60s, and it looks like nothing to show in the way of rainfall coming our way. In fact, it looks pretty sunny all the way through the end of the week, so that looks pretty good out there. We'll have updates on the uh, seven-day forecast. Pardon me, I didn't know that that wasn't up there uh, at, the, at the time, but again, through the rest of the week, looks pretty quiet across much of the Mid-South. When's the chance of rainfall going to begin for the Mid-South area? The green line indicates, again, chances of rainfall. Red line indicates the possibility of thunderstorms. And as you can see, it's not really huge, but it is 
Again, the possibility of getting at least some thunderstorms out there, especially overnight past midnight. And as we go toward dawn patrol, that's where the possibility of thunderstorms really starts to pick up. It doesn't look like a huge threat. It does look like there will be possibility of rain on the roadways. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. So again, if anything happens, we'll let you know about it. Definitely a good way to stay tuned. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3, either on air or online, and we'll keep you advised on that. Right in the middle of Safe Place Selfie, if you'd like to do this, it's a great opportunity for teachers, principals, uh, anybody at school to show uh, what they do with their kids to make certain that they know what's going on uh, when it comes to severe weather. Go to your safe place, wherever that is, interior closet, bathroom, crawl space, basement, uh, interior hallway, whatever you've got, and take a selfie picture with yourself or your group in there, and then place it on social media with the hashtag Safe Place Selfie. That, again, will get you an opportunity to share that with everybody else and reinforce the idea that it's important to know beforehand where to go when severe weather hits. It really takes some... Uh, when you don't know what's going on, when you don't know where to go to, when you have to stop and think about it and severe weather is approaching, that is precious time that you need to get everybody where they really need to be as soon as possible. So it's a lot better to have a plan in place beforehand, before the severe weather ever arrives, and this is one way to reinforce how important that is. So if you'd like to know more about this, just type in the hashtag safe, safe place selfie. It would help if I could talk tonight. This would be your opportunity to learn more about what's going on when it comes to severe weather weather in the Mid-South and how important it is to make certain that you are protected on this. We'll be watching that threat of severe weather into the course of the rest of the night tonight and into tomorrow. Uh, Jim Jaggers will have more on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers has more on your forecast bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. And of course, I'll have plenty of information here at WRHE.com slash weather from House Onic and also on all these social media pages out there. If I could stop hitting the table, that would be wonderful. This is your opportunity to keep up to date on things. If there's something on here you'd like to see, let us know. We would love to know about it. Please let me know at austin.onic at wrhe.com. Live and direct from House Onic on several media platforms tonight. Thanks for joining us for a complete weather update from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. And stay tuned for more throughout the evening and especially tomorrow as we look for more severe weather to come very close to the area. Thanks for joining us on Weather Overtime.